All right, in the last example. Um, in, uh, that's really good. I might have to look at that. Yes, please. Are those pretzels? No, they're big. Are they good? Oh, good. So in this problem, as I mentioned, if you, guys, if you guys recall, when we were dividing, when multiplying, I said the best thing to do was to simplify and then multiply. For dividing, I said, go ahead and, sim uh, go ahead and divide first. So if you guys go ahead and divide, you'd have 5x to the fourth over 2x squared y cubed. Right? Well, if you guys are going to go ahead and simplify this, you could do x to the fourth divided by x squared, which would leave you with x squared, right? So basically, I have 5x squared divided by 2y cubed, right? But ladies and gentlemen, we can actually further um, simplify this. Because if you go ahead and look at the problem, when we're dividing, we never want to leave. Um, we don't want to have a radical in our denominator. So the actual another case that we can go um, through on this problem is another way to look at this is you can still kind of keep it that way. There's nothing wrong with that. But if you were to rewrite this, this still looks like this, 5x squared over the square root of 2y cubed. Can't you pull an x out the top there? Pull an x out? Yeah, 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 we can. But I'm just going to go through an example. Um, oh, yeah, so that would actually leave you with x, right? Yeah. Um, so actually, because that would be x to the fourth, and that would be x squared. So yeah, that would actually leave you with x. Now. The main important thing I want you guys to understand is we cannot s divide by a radical. So the one way we didn't go over last class period, because I wanted to save it for today, is what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by a number that's going to make both of these um, where we can take the square root of them. So I can't take the square root of 2, right? Hold on, don't you take out a y, I'm going to explain just a second. We can't take the square root of y, right? Or actually, all right, you know what? Fair enough, we can go ahead and simplify that, right? Let's go ahead and let's go and take a look at your ways. I'm just going over what I've said, and it makes sense. If you're going to simplify this, then you take it as an x and you'd have a y. Correct? Uh -huh. This makes sense, I believe, so I'll, I'll keep it that way. So if you go ahead and divide and you simplify, you'd be left with something that looks like this. Now, what I want you guys to understand is we cannot divide by a negative number. So therefore, what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to multiply it by a radical that's going to make this something we can take the square root of. For instance, I can't take the square root of 2, right? What could I multiply 2 by so I could take the square root of it? 2. I can't take the square root of y, but what could I multiply it by to, make, to get the square root? y. So whatever I do on the top, I do on the bottom. And then what I end up having is x times the square root of 10y divided by y over 4y squared. Well, now, ladies and gentlemen, can I take the square root of 4? Yeah. Right? And can I take the square root of y? Yeah. yeah. So my final answer is x, the square root of 10y, divided by um, y squared, or 2y squared. Because what I did was I took the square root of y squared, which is y, and then I did y times y, which gave me y squared. That's how I got that. I'm always hot this morning. <laughs>